Today, we're going to be talking about what if I want to create an external user interface for some contractors and give them some limited views to the data that we're working on together, but I don't necessarily want them to have all of my internal data. This is going to be an Airtable specifically. I'm going to jump right into the interface and show you how. If you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green. I'm the owner of Optimize IS, and we help different types of businesses, different types of teams build these kind of systems all day long. If you want help building this, check out the link in the description. Without further ado, we'll jump right into it. So this is an Airtable interface that I created. In here, I have something that I've called deliverables. This has just like a few pictures, for example, that I want maybe to use on social media later on. Most of these are not public yet, uh, but if I find the right post, I may include it. So most of what I'm gonna be sharing is this is a content production system where I'm producing content and now I'm going to be involving a few external contractors who I need some help in producing the content, but I want them to be able to do very specific things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the top left of my interface and I'm going to click edit. And now this is in like the editor mode of the interface so I can do a lot more things. Over on the left-hand side, you can see I have one interface, is what Airtable calls it, with multiple pages within it. So this is an interface. Each one of these is a different page. What I want to go do is I want to go create a new interface. So not a new page, just a new interface, because permissions and inviting users is said the interface level. I could invite anybody to this interface that I've deemed as projects, but when I do that, they're going to be able to see any page that's accessible through that interface and take any actions that are accessible through that interface. So I want to create a new one because I want to define new permissions for these people. So I'm going to name it optimize IS external fun fact. If you use an emoji and you put an emoji at the beginning, it gives you the option to use the icon as the emoji, which I like. So I'm going to hit next in here. Now you get to choose like what page type you want. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll duplicate an existing page if I've gotten it like 90% of the way there. In this, I'm just going to choose a Kanban view because I want it to, let's see. I don't have a Kanban view yet, and I know I want these external users to use a Kanban view. So here, if I go into the deliverables is what I want to build this off of, and it's going to stack by the status. So the key thing that I want to show you how to do in this is we want to set different permissions. So one, when we publish this interface, they're only going to get access to this one interface. So if I go into the share thing right here, I can click share, or if I want to share it later on, I could come in here and click share. When you go to the share menu, you can say, what do we want to share? And I only want to share this one interface. So only this interface, not this project's interface. From here, I can invite users as editors, commenters, or read-only just specifically to this one interface with just this one page. Now, you may want to show them a page, but maybe you want to limit what they can see on that page. I'm going to go into the editor mode here and click in this, actually click in the white space up here. I can set filters at the page level. So if they want to go to this deliverables page, I want to come over here and click filter. And we're going to add two filters. I either want to see th them to see things if my assignee, which is a user field, is the current user, or if the reviewer, which is a user field, is the current user. So now I'll tag people as assignees, or I'll tag them as reviewers, and they'll be able to come in here and look at their stuff. So if I look at this one, I'm going to allow people to open the record detail page. This is a post that I want to do. If I want to make certain things editable, certain things not, like if, I, if I'm a signee, I should be able to edit the content. If I'm a reviewer, I should be able to edit the reviewer notes. What I would do in here is you have to show that you have to make those fields visible, but then let's say I make this content editable. I'm going to show this field. So I clicked on the field visibility, add a rule. If you're the assignee, this current user, then you can see it that way. Otherwise, I'm going to bring in that content field again. So you click the little blue plus, then you can search your fields. This content field is view only right here. And I want to show this if the assignee is not 
the current user. So now what this will look like is if I publish this, I would also apply that to the reviewer section as well. Since I am not listed as the assignee, I see a read only version of this field versus if I was the assignee, if this Ben Green was up here, I would see the other version. So if you want to learn more about conditional visibility in Airtable and more of these rules, then check out the video here in the end screen. And I'm going to walk you through a much more in-depth tutorial on conditional visibility. This is just the start of creating an external user portal in Airtable. I hope you like this video. Go click that video in the end screen to learn more about conditional visibility.